Hi everyone, it's uh, a very slow Monday afternoon, it's actually 1.22 in the afternoon, July the 4th, so happy 4th of July to all my American friends out there. <coughs> um, I've been a bit busy, I have uh, got a piece cut for that. I did cut that big piece from the other tabletop, but this one is actually too thick. It's about two or three mil thicker than the rest of the table, which meant I had quite a lip. And it just wouldn't work. <laughs> so um, I used the back panel that came from the same desk as the um, desktop I've used there. And I just stuck it in. Cut it down, stuck it in. So I've just got to get a bit cut for this edge. <clears throat> uh, which I'll use one of those whiteboards for because the other the rest of this I've got is just too short to go the whole length so itch 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 here we go I'm actually running out of road boards I didn't think I'd run out but I am running out I've got a couple down there that I need to clean. I've got a couple of curves. And I do need, in the future, some more of these sorts of boards without the T-junction in. Because I looked daft when you've got all of these put together. Right. Uh, I've got, what, two T-junctions left? Might actually be enough for what I want to do. Might actually be enough. Yeah, might be. It's a definite maybe. Oh, I've got T-junction down there. I didn't realise that. Plenty of crossroad pieces as well. <clears throat> so I'll turn that T junction round because I've got an idea for that. Anyway, that's a sawdust to vacuum up. Oh, I'll mark up that one of those whiteboards and uh, take that with me when I next go over to Mum's. Actually, I'll take all of these boards I don't want to mums and my stepdad can use them for something in the workshop, then he can be my guest. I don't need them. I've used what I want, wanted, almost. I can't think of a use for anything else. Hmm. Hi all, it's five o'clock, almost, I've got a board cut for the table, got lots of mess to clean up, uh, I just need to fill that edge in which I'm going to cut a section out of that, 
whiteboard there. Uh, that bit I cut there wasn't the other tabletop because that was too thick. That section is part of the tabletop that I cut with hand saw. It didn't actually take me that long to get through that. Five minutes, maybe. If, well, less than that, I think. But that's a good bloody hand saw, that orange handled one. Anyway, um, it's too thick. It's like two, three mils, millimeters too thick, that one. So I used the backboard to do that and uh, I know this white stuff is the same thickness. The rest of this back panel for the desk isn't long enough to go the full length, I don't think. I haven't actually tried it, but uh, pretty certain it isn't, and I've got another use for that anyway. So, as these white, well, as all these other boards will fit in the car now, well, at least that tabletop will, that's through there, I'll, <laughs> I'll take them all over to Mum's when I next go over, and, uh, if stepdad can make a use uh, of that bit, the bit behind me, and what's left out of these two, then he's more than welcome to have them. But I'll just measure and cut up and basically draw on this, the bit I want cut out, and uh, I'm sure stepdad will stick it through his uh, bench saw, table saw, whatever you want to call it. You know, he's got one of them where you just push the bit of wood through on a with the blade in a table sort of thing. I can't remember what it's called. It's a saw that cuts things. <laughs> but, uh, when I was at Mum's yesterday, I picked up his old DeWalt battery charger, because his DeWalt drill... DeWalt? 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. DeWalt. That's how I've always pronounced it, so that's what I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, DeWalt. Um... <coughs> His, the drill for it died and he'd already cut the lead off, so I picked it up to, you know, have a look inside. And <laughs> I can't believe I found this, actually. Just look at this. Here is the internal soldered-on fuse. At some point, this has popped. And someone... <laughs> I can't believe they did this. They've soldered in a 5-amp plug fuse. That's what this is on the right. It's a 5-amp plug fuse that they've soldered directly to the blown fuse to fix it. Instead of, you know, slipping the wires and soldering in a proper fuse, <laughs> they've... That's going to be one of the funniest bodges I've ever seen. It works. Because this charger used to, well, this charger circuit board still does work. You know, I could solder on a new lead, screw it all back together, and have a charger, but we don't have a drill. I don't have a drill with batteries like that anyway, so it's no good to me. But having said that, just in case I come across one, I may keep hold of this. That's funny. <laughs> Look at that. That's <laughs> Never have I actually opened up anything and actually found such a bodge in there. They've actually dropped some solder on the ceramic from the look of it. Fucking hell, I'll be glad when I get a new camera. This is driving me up the wall using this one. It really is. It's not fair to the... I think I dropped to 102 subscribers. Yeah, that's fair enough, you know. If people change their it's up to them. If people change their mind, they change their mind, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's not fair to those you hundred odd subscribers I've got that I've having to use this piece of shit. I know it's not worth. Uh, well, some people might think it's not worth worrying about because my subs I've got so few subscribers, but I still enjoy doing the videos. I still like... My day doesn't feel complete without picking up the camera and having a good old chin wag to it, if anything else. So, my mother two batteries done yet. Hey, we're cooked. Look at the fuck me now. Well... 
have actually started to curl, but I took the other ones out as soon as I'd uh, done cooking in the charger, and uh, they were hot. <laughs> In the future, I may just turn the charger off and let them cool. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe that. There's nothing actually on this worth salvaging, you know, nothing that you, you couldn't go out and, you know, buy off of eBay. You know, there's diodes and resistors and wire bridge links. Ooh. Ah. I just found a bridge rectifier, four diodes. Yep, wired in a bridge rectifier configuration. Something I've learned from watching electronics engineers on YouTube. I was actually saying to my stepdad, it's amazing what you can learn from watching YouTubers that actually know what they're talking about. Like um, Dave from EEV blog. Uh, Clive.com, John Ward is another one, Julian Illett. You know, they all know what they're talking about. So if you watch YouTubers like that, you can learn quite a lot. That's pretty much how I learn about bridge rectifiers, for example, watching them guys. Still wouldn't know how to go about designing my own circuits and printing my own boards, but I don't really want to go that far. All I want to do is do what I've done with that digital clock and my doorbell. Look for circuits that interest me, perhaps on eBay, and build them. <laughs> um, I don't really... Oh, that reminds me, I've got to... Uh... got to... Um... See if I can trans. Should we go and do that? That's what we can do. Let's we'll see if we can uh, get audio to transfer this time. Yes, I've got to shut off because it's actually a bloody hot, beautiful day, and I don't mind going shirtless. Okay, so I just need to um, make a bit of room over there and power everything up. So I'm going to move my lamp. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this lamp yet. It's actually one of the lightest ones I've got. Although I can't remember how heavy that one is. My one with the um, bla my black one with the spotlights on through there. That's actually quite heavy. How much going to do? I'm just going to stand you up there for a moment. So I've got both hands free to uh, clear some junk from this corner bag of bike parts. I've got to go through that. Uh, sort this laptop cover out. No idea where I'm in those. Nope. was hiding in this box earlier. another thing I've forgotten because I've gotten used to the other camera. I forget this one doesn't pick up audio as well. Especially when I get further away from it, I get quieter. So I've got to remember to either A, not step too far from the camera, or B, shout. <laughs> Deal with that. Uh, right, I'm going to try a different DV cable this time. I've got a gold plated one here. Well, it's gold in colour on the connector, so I'm presuming it's gold plated. What the hell has someone done here? How did they roll this up? Can't remember where this came Oh, I know where this came from. This um, came in that box of. Uh, Console bits and bobs I got off Biggles last weekend. I might actually grab a sponge and uh, just spray all that stuff and clean this up. Mm-hmm. 
down there. I'm now going to clean that up and clean the cables up. Got it plugged in there. Yeah. Pardon me. We'll give it another go. Because if I can actually get one of these cameras to work and I can figure out how to use this software properly, I may not actually buy another camera for a while. Well, I will, but I'll save up, but I could use one of these, you know, as a temporary stand-in, because it's better than this bloody thing! I haven't got to shout at the damn thing when it gets too far from me. Right, what was I going to do? Ah, yes, where did I put that? I've got some spray. Did I leave it in here? I did. Of course I did. It's actually kitchen spray, but that's all I've got, I'm afraid. And spray that over those cables, let that soak a little bit. It's a bit bleachy, but doesn't smell as bleachy as the other one I've got. Actually, it smells better than the other stuff I've got. Cool. It smells too nice in this kitchen. That's the problem with cat food, because I don't fill my rubbish bags up enough to take it out every day. It sort of sits around and it starts smelling. But well, I was going to go to later today because it's smelling too much. Right. Fish cakes. Knew I went back in the kitchen for something. Is there one in here? Oh, there is one in here. One of me mop back at, I need to mop my floors, but I need to remember to get a new mop head. I still haven't. Oh, you got one. That one's fallen a bit. That's so why I don't use it, because it's so annoying to bloody use it. But my bathroom and kitchen floors are in a desperate need of a mob. <laughs> Cinders shall go to the ball tonight. I'm going to stick them there, actually. Perhaps spraying a live power supply wasn't the best idea in the world. <laughs> I saw some more on a lead somewhere. Yeah. I like the fact that Nemo made sure she did it in an area where I wasn't walking. But he did it on my table. <laughs> And my power supply. Oh, I don't smell bleach. I hate bleach. Fuck off. Yeah, right. Bring up the program. Yep, this old beast of a Sony's running Windows XP. I can't remember what version, though. We'll have a look in a minute, shall we? Video TV, DVGate Plus, DVGate Plus. Open. No, we don't. I've just opened the wrong one. <laughs> Try that again. All programs. Video TV. Giga Pocket is what we need. Open up Giga Pocket. Turn the camera on. Give that in a minute. Let's just. Uh, oh. I'm just curious because I don't actually know what version of XP this is running. Oh, we've got a thing for TV set up in here, so it's got all the proper software on here to do it, because if it still worked, I could have watched um, internet TV and whatnot, but it's Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3. Right. 
So, push the reset switch. Why do you do that every time I turn you on? The thing about working here is I've got a shelf right there. I can put it on. So I've got to or not. So I'm still in play mode, so I need to rewind. Well, it's working. See? <laughs> it's working! Well, at least that part is working. <laughs> it didn't seem like the audio transferred over. So I've got that rewinding, and I'm just going to take it. Just nudge the bloody cable. got a finicky um, power socket on that. It doesn't help that it's not the right power canable. Can power canable. We have canables in Britain. Don't ask me what the fuck a canable is. <laughs> I'm just going to check on here if there's... Uh, the only button I can see is record. Settings. Recording mode, MPEG G or MPEG two S MPEG two H. Sound mode mono. Oh. What's the rec display external input? Video two front. See, I've got. I've got DV at the front, I've got V... not VGA, RCA connectors at the front and the exact same on the rear so uh, I can have multiple devices connected I can switch this to um, use the VCR and DVD player if I wanted to because they're connected at the back Three USB ports? Two USB ports. I can't see them up here. I can't be asked to go on my hands and knees at the minute. But I will uh, prove to you that the audio on this camera does work. Once it's rewound. Yeah, it'd be nice if I... Well, actually I might invest... If I get this to transfer audio as well, and get the whole thing to bloody work, I know audio works because it's connected to the monitor speakers. And I get sound. Um, I get sound. Uh, I wonder if that's going to work. No, no audio. See, plenty of video. I can tell audio is working on this because I can hear all the clicks when I click on the things. So I know it's actually working on the PC. Rewind is slow on that. This is the downside with using old VHS cameras. It's time consuming. Doing that. I just want to get these stacked. Get out of the way. Get them stacked in here so they aren't going to like uh, or, or, or bend anything. I should say. Let's go swap these ones. It's only got a big hole in the back of this. For, um, well, zoom power cables and things of some sort, I presume. Well, I can't see why, because there isn't no way to put a TV on top. Not, well, portable TV, maybe. 
my crappy little pack up. Some of these laptops will just be spares, like uh, probably this pack up. I think I've already half inched some bits out of it already. Sounds like it's done. So that was good timing. Okay, so I'm just going to hit play on this first. Audio, you see. So, rewind that. And what you do is. going well so far, isn't it? Stop that. doesn't work with this one, and what I'm going to do is try and find a different cable than this one with RCA connectors. Let's see if I can do it that way. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down for now and let this uh, do what it's got to do. And we'll see what happens afterwards. It's working. Hang on a minute. I do have audio now going through to the PC. I'm using this one. I'm just hoping the battery's going to last. Um, and actually, even if it doesn't, I can just plug it in. Um, so, I may end up using a brand of camera that I forgot what brand it is. <laughs> Canon, I think. Um... So I could use that one now, and uh, believe it or not, it's working on one of those RCA audio cables. <laughs> yeah, still a fair bit of battery left, but I am just going to plug. I can make up a proper power supply for this. Just got to find the lead for the middle one. Is that going to plug in? That's the question. That's going to fit. No. Bitch. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Never mind. I'll think of something. But like I said, I can make a power supply for it. It's 8.5 volt, that camera, and I do have an 8.4 volt Sony PlayStation slim thing, portable thing, adapter somewhere in here. Let me down here. Down here in this lot? Nope. It's somewhere not far away. I might have even put it back in that drawer, but what I've got to do is change the plug connector size on it, because it's the wrong size for that camera. And I can use that one. For some reason, it's just not transferring audio from these cameras to that one. It might be why those ones got thrown away. <laughs> That might be, that might very well be the reason for throwing those ones out. Uh, so, it is working, it is recording. 
So uh, I'll put that one either up tonight or tomorrow. Hmm. I seem to have a habit of sticking my fat head in the way on that one. I don't know, I look almost bald at the back of it. <laughs> right. Uh, he's been sitting here under the fan, as well as playing with the cameras, but I am just sick and tired of using this, it hasn't got the features, and it really is weird that something as old as those uh, VHS cameras are actually better quality than this thing. I mean, I know this camera I'm using um, is meant for still photos and whatnot, but even some of them aren't the best. Um, it took me ages to get one right for um, taking a photo of this circuit board. But Facebook is actually down at the moment, so uh, I can't get on there at the minute. What? But you'd have thought even still something like this would have been better quality than an old VHS camera, but nope. <laughs> and I think I've figured out there's about an hour's worth of tape on one of them little tape, which should be plenty long enough to do a video with. You may have to do it in. I don't know, I may not have to, I was just thinking I may have to do it in one take, but might not have to, it might just make things a bit awkward, I don't know. I'll just have to try it and find out. So some <laughs> some videos with this might be a bit experimental. But it does seem to be working. <laughs> I might get rid of the other ones then. Is it a Canon? It is a Canon. It's a Canon MV690. Digital video camcorder. Digital on VHS. Not quite sure that how that worked or if that was even possible, but I guess it was. Well, actually, if I couldn't have got any of them cameras to work, I was actually going to use one of these ones temporarily. Well, actually, not one of those two. I was going to use my uh, Samson through here. Well, I still can. I've got all the necessary charges and things for that. I've got a tape in it. The um, sand cable will just plug straight in there, so I could actually use that if I really wanted to. It's just gonna um it's just gonna mean transferring and editing is gonna be a bit more of an arse ache, but never mind. Um Isn't that what I said I got that PC for? <laughs> But, uh, I could use those from now on. Then I wouldn't have to be in such a hurry to, uh, get, you know, the, um, camera that I want. I could take a bit more time in, um, shopping, so to speak. What, a bit of food in your dish? Is that what you want? I'll do you in a minute, then. I'm going to get this small dust vacuumed up before it gets too late. So, anyway, yeah. That's, um, I'm happy with that. I know that Canon records as well because I've already experimented with all that, so I know it's a fully working camera. I know this one's a fully working camera. What is it? This one is a Samson. VPW60 8mm camcorder 
One touch control. Digital signal processors. That's another digital one. Zoom lens, 22 times zoom lens, 500 times digital zoom, blah blah blah. The advantage we're using the Canon is it's got the pull out screen. This one doesn't. Right. Account temporarily unavailable. Your account is currently unavailable due to a site issue. We expect this to be resolved shortly. Please try again. I'm just going to hit the try again button. Nope. Facebooky is still down, unfortunately. No! Facebook! How can I use my Facebook? Oh well, it's not the end of the world. Stupidus catechus. <laughs> wow. Right. I'll see you all in a little while. Well, I'll speak to you all in a little while. Whatever. Okay, I've had a bit of a uh, chill out evening. Um, I actually forgot until I looked across the lounge that I had that bike there. I could have done something to that today. Um, I've got a BMX wheel that I'm going to put in the back of that to make that a single speed. And I'll do away with the um, cables. I'll leave the grip shift on there because I haven't got replacement grips. I'll just take the um, cable off out of the way. Refit the... Um, I'll sort out the rear brake, I should say, and bolt on the rear light, and uh, it's a working bike. But I'm hoping that that sprocket will come off of that wheel and go on the other one I've got on the other bike. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. having second thoughts then. Um, I was actually thinking that maybe I should try that first. See if it's the same sort of fit, because it's a completely different bike, so it may not. The clips may not work. I don't know. I'll, like I said, I'll have a look tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's job. Lights! Got a fourth one somewhere, but I can't remember where I've put it. I like this PC. Look, it puts itself in a sleep mode to wake it up. Let's do that. And it will awake, in theory, eventually. Yep. I've uh, exported. You've got when you transfer it to this um, PC using this Giga Pocket Explorer thing, you have to um, export that because it puts it on the PC as what it calls a video capsule. So I had to export that, and that is now. Should be sitting in here somewhere. Yep, labeled door. So I just grab my um, flash drive, put that across, and take it across to the other PC. There's a one-shot video, so... Spot. Right on my chest, and it's itching. So I think what I'd have to do is just run it through Movie Maker and put um, titles and whatnot on it. If I want to, sometimes I don't bother, as you've probably noticed, that this depends on my mood at the time. Whoa. That's something we can take apart tomorrow, the top part of that paper shredder. Not do. Back of my thighs are itching. Not my thighs, my calves, rather. 
Right. I do want my PC on actually because I'm going to do a quick Lego video update using that Canon camera. Fuck it, I forgot to take that box down to the bin. Oh, well, it gets empty tomorrow now, getting pretty full now anyway. The recycle bins, that is. Oh, right, well, apart from doing that bike, I have no idea what tomorrow's plans are. I don't know if Mum's going to phone me. Uh, so I don't know if stepdad is going to want me over tomorrow. Not a clue. I'll just have to see what tomorrow brings. But uh, if I have a free day to myself again, I'm going to work on that. And that can be my little clown bike. And yes, I would ride that round town. If anyone thinks I wouldn't. Anyway. That's it for this video. Let me get this one put to the PC later. In fact, what I could do is start this one going. I still can't believe that circuit board that someone soldered a plug top fuse or a plug fuse. I'll give them there. It's using their initiative and I suppose if you haven't got um, the correct fuse to fit into it then uh, all the time perhaps to fix it you know maybe they were on a job or something or needed it done for a job, so, uh, I don't know. I mean, it does look like a bodge, but it's not unsafe. Um, there's no risk of that shorting out on anything else. I have checked it over, so I wouldn't say it was dangerous. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but... <laughs> Like I said, maybe that was done just to get them out of a pickle. Well, I see on there as well. Oh! There must be a different version of this charger for a different drill because... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight empty spots where um, components, look at the holes haven't even been drilled. Oh no, they might have, but the bottoms are blocked off from the look of it. Yeah. There is a couple of resistors from the look of it. A switch. I don't know why you put a switch on the inside is. Another resistor. A D13, whatever D13 is. It looks like a little jumper wire and uh, it might very well. No, another different type, well, I presume resistor. Are they? Oh, that could be for that, actually. No, it isn't. It is for that. Hmm. Oh, I found another spot empty. That's nine. Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing there's, um, this can actually, or could do something else. Um, that obviously isn't for this model of drill. Because sometimes they do that so they don't have to, you know, make up a whole new circuit. They just do it so it's an add-on to this, so they just add it on for the next models. cost saving maybe so they haven't got to print out a whole new circuit board hmm. little indicator LED on there apart from he wants to stick
steal the LED off of this board, but I get them in packs of a hundred on eBay cheap, so is there really any point? <laughs> right. That is it for the video then. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow.